What's up, growth hackers? Today we're gonna review Pixel.2. So this is a link shortener or a URL shortener. There's many out there uh, which we'll cover. So just quick background, they are on AppSumo right now. Um, 41 reviews, five stars. So that's really amazing. Anytime an AppSumo deal has five stars, it's definitely worth checking out. $49 for a one-time payment. Uh, we'll get into that as well as their competitors. We'll quickly review the AppSumo. All these uh, timestamps will be down below. So if you want to skip ahead, we'll re review the website uh, from an angel investor point of view, look at their competition as well as do the demo. And then finally, I'll give my uh, rating on this out of five. So yeah, let's take a look at the AppSumo deal. Again, I don't know how much longer it'll be on. Again, $49. You can take a look. What I like to take a look at is their uh, competitors, just so I get an idea of who's leading in the market. So Bitly, I'm sure everyone's aware of. Um, Rebrandly also. Um, so if you don't know what a URL shortener is, basically if you want to take something, uh, shorten it, uh, and then get a lot of analytics as to where uh, or who's clicking on it, you can definitely take a look at that. So. Um, a lot of people use this, especially uh, when they want to track uh, who's clicking on their links. So here, uh, $49 gets you a lifetime deal of unlimited links, okay, uh, which is amazing. And we'll get to why that's amazing. 10 team members, 10 custom domains, which is very high, actually, uh, all for $49. So here, uh, the team. Um, again, when you're looking at reviews, you want to make sure that the team is actually answering a lot of the questions. But since they are positive, probably not too likely that they need to answer a lot of stuff. And typically, it's when they have a negative review that you want to see the te uh, the team step in. Um, so let's, let's take a look at the questions. Okay, so look at this, the first question, October 19th. So just two days ago, uh, the founder, William, uh, did reply. And what you're looking for in terms of the reply, and really when you buy any AppSumo deal, is that you, the second you buy it, ask their customer support a bunch of questions and see, one, how fast they reply, two, how polite they are, and three, how accurate they are in their reply. A lot of times you'll get like offshore teams that just give it a very generic reply. Sometimes the customer support doesn't even exist. <clears throat> uh long tail pro and scrapey and uh yeah so yeah so you can see uh, william did reply here and i've spoken to william as well he's an amazing guy and so yeah that's it on AppSumo. well positioned uh beautiful screenshots so a plus on that let's take a look at some of their competition and their pricing so there you saw it was a 49 dollars lifetime deal uh, unlimited. So here you can see they limit you uh, for Bitly. This is what makes these AppSumo deals so amazing. You're getting literally the same features, if not slightly better. Um, and you're getting at a much, much cheaper price for life. Uh, but even their monthly, uh, so when they're off of AppSumo, uh, their pricing is really very competitive because it's unlimited links. Here you're limited by the amount of links. Will you ever use these many links uh, in a month? Uh, I don't know. Depends how big your business is. Uh, for me personally, not. But yeah, so again, Bitly limits you on the links. I don't believe they have custom domains here either. Could be wrong. I don't see it here. And they also don't have, oh, they have QR codes here at the $30 month. Oh, and brand links. Okay, so $30 gets you the branded links, but it's limited in their number of links, 1500. And uh, this one, uh, their next competitor, again, you can see uh, it does limit the links, but here it starts at a much higher price point. And thirty dollars, and rebrandly for twenty four dollars. Uh, yeah, you're you're limited the amount of links. So this one's actually not bad pricing. And then for Pixel, they have two tiers. Um, I recommend they have three options. If you're listening to this, William, uh, typically you want to have three options with the middle one being the most popular so that you can help users make a choice. But I understand and um, keep it simple. You're literally offering unlimited, unlimited everything uh, for $30 flat. So that's cool when they're off of AppSoon. Okay, now let's review the, the website uh, from how I would approach it from an angel investing standpoint. So let's take a look. So transform your links into marketing tools. Transform your links into marketing tools. Okay, good. Um, uh, I would probably change this a little bit in terms of like how you're presenting this. Transform your links into marketing tools or like something about like tracking your links because that's probably what most people are looking for. Uh, here you mentioned in the subtitle, create brand and tracking engagement short and track engagement short link and QR codes. Okay, cool. 
Uh, what you like to see here is a pulsing play button with uh, the founder, in this case, William, talking about what the product is real quick, literally in 30 seconds, and uh, what makes you guys better than the competition. So just being super honest, saying, hey, we're a startup team. We literally have all the features as our competitors, and we are like basically unlimited everything. So that would make me, because you have to know tech people looking at these reviews, um, they're going to just Google, see what the best ones are. So when you start to drive even paid uh, ads to this, um, you might actually drive sales to your competitors' websites if you can't close them immediately. So that's why I like to say 30 seconds who you are or less, as well as uh, what makes you better or different. And uh, just transparency. So you are a new company, uh, but you can offer way better pricing with just the same features. And boom, you would get a sale instantly. You could put like literally the call to action here. Uh, they probably wouldn't even need to learn more. And um, yeah, so copywriting could be a little bit better as well as the design. Uh, I love this section right here. Very easy to see. I would, I would uh, brand every link and every QR code. Okay. Uh, dashboard. I would, again, put benefits here rather than features. And again, you can use like AI software to uh, create benefits rather than features. This is cool as well. Next level to this would be uh, some sort of animated, uh, not GIF, but like some sort of animated thing just showing uh, somebody clicking or using this. Uh, next level would be an embedded iframe, which I've seen some SaaS companies do where you can actually click on things and they have like hover things similar to like a tutorial when you first enter an onboarding where it's like click here to do this and it's very engaging and that that for me sells the SaaS business because it shows like uh, their technical capabilities. So QR codes cool. You can brand it and make it colored analytics also cool. But again, this stat, I like the layout of this. It's a little bit static for me though. And again, benefits rather than features. Okay. Out optimize your outreach. Okay. Again, the copywriting can be much better. If you want to work with me, William, uh, send me an email. You, you know where to hit me up. Uh, I like that you're using three here. Again, a lot of companies use four, but three is the magic number. Uh, four clutters it way too much and people don't read it anymore. I love that you left align your font here too. Again, very small things that make a huge difference. Um, this is a little bit weird because when I'm scrolled down to here and I'm trying to read this and this and I'm clicking on this, I'm not really seeing this bottom part right here. Um, don't know how to fix that. Maybe you could work on a little bit of the spacing. But again, this is a little bit static. Um, and again, these are more features than benefits. Yeah, it could be stronger hitting the pain points. Okay, boom, get started for free here. Uh, it'd be nice if you had video testimonials. Eventually, I'm sure you'll get those. And uh, yeah, the pricing. So quite simple, uh, not not a bad page, but not the best could be improved. And with, let's uh, dive into that tool itself now. Okay, so here I set up a Quora for uh, one of my YouTube channels, basically answering a bunch of questions. I wanted to see who is clicking on my Quora link going to my uh, YouTube channel. So you can see I set it up yesterday. We already have 50 clicks uh, today, only one click. Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm going to refresh this page. I was hoping it would show me the sources and correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably doing something technically wrong here, like not adding like UTM or source or parameters like that for each one. But um, I was hoping it would show me, I guess it can't. Uh, maybe William, let me know down in the comments. I guess it can't show me like where which I uh, or article it's coming from because I just use one link for all of them. So that would be nice, although I'm probably setting it up wrong. So I need probably need to read through the tutorials. But again, a lot of your users will be uh, not so technical like myself as well. So here you can just create a short link. Again, I would probably highlight this in green so users know how to click there or an opposite color like red. Red's probably a bad color, but opposite to blue, um, your branding. So here you can see uh, your default link. You can change that. So say you wanted to track like uh, a blo specific blog uh, article, you can do blog name of blog article and then your destination. Uh, would be the blog article itself. Uh, so www. One of my companies blog. I don't know, something like that. Um, QR template. I haven't played around with this, but let's hit basic tags. You can tag it as well. So here we will tag it with like fashion or something. Got to click. Did that work? Okay, so I have to actually put my tag down here. Let's do blog. That'll be used quite a bit. You can add a tag there. Cool. You have to select it. 
uh, pixels. Uh, I'm assuming this is like Facebook pixels or something if you want to use that. Title. This is cool that you can change. So like this is basically like the meta description. So you want to change your title. Uh, that's probably not even the, the blog URL. That's why. I don't know. If Anyways, you can change your title to like Scarfling blog and then a description. This is our blog. And then you can change your thumbnail here as well, which is very cool. I like this. A lot of uh, companies don't allow that. And this is probably where I'm missing where the source and stuff is. I don't know how to use UTMs quite yet, but you can just create that. Okay, so it's created. Um, now, where do I actually go to use it? Let's see. Go back to the dashboard. I was on the analytics page. Um, okay, so we have this. We have the tags. And you can see the activity of when it was last clicked, I guess. You can copy it, edit it, duplicate it, download the QR code, which is cool, and then click on the analytics or delete it. So quite basic. Um, I like that it's user friendly like this and you can also bulk import uh let's see from a csv or enter a bunch of destinations i wonder what that actually does let's try importing how does it know what the short url will be okay so is it done or do i have to refresh my page Okay, it's too bad it's not dynamic and you have to refresh the page. That's not too intuitive. I'm sure they're working on that. Um, okay, so it just creates a random short pixel and then link and then you would just change it. Okay, that's cool. And uh, again, they do custom branding. So if you want to add your domain here, uh, you can just add your domain. And uh, actually, let's try it. Let's try scarfling.com. I'm sure you'll have to change some MX records and all that stuff. Could not add that. Domain is currently not pointing to pixel. Okay, so here they have a learn. Um, oh, good. Shows you how to do it. It'd be nice if there was a video too. A lot of people don't like reading all this stuff, so maybe just create a YouTube video embedded in here. That'd be awesome. What else do they have? Tags, pixels, QR codes, preferences, profile, team. Okay, they have a team section, which is great. You can invite users. Um, I wonder how many team teams you get. I guess unlimited. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, I give this literally... I mean, the technology's there. I just don't know how to utilize it fully. Uh, maybe somebody can help me. I, the main thing I'd like to see is where the link or the clicks are coming from, which probably involves me adding all those UTM parameters. Um, they have an extension too for Chrome, uh, which is great. So if you're on a website, you can just uh, easily shorten it. Um, so the technology for me literally gets a five out of five. I like that they are competitive with all the features of like QR codes and stuff like that. It's not, not a crazy technical company. I think the main thing in order for them to succeed will be literally their storytelling capabilities on their website, as well as their design and some of the UI stuff that I mentioned, the user experience, uh, like, like it not adding it immediately and not, no progress bar and you have to refresh the page, things like that. So um, overall, I give this a four out of five. Great job, William, and uh, awesome deal. And so guys, pick it up if you want uh, and see you guys next time.